Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei. Check me out, man. Peep the fit. Peep the fit. Peep the fit, man. <laughs> What do y'all rate the fit, bro? This has to be the cleanest fit on 2K. Like, honestly, if this player pulled up on you, what would you do, my boy? Would you do you think you'd be able to drop me off? You think you could score on the swan? Look at me! Look at me, look at me, look at me. Peep me out, peep me out, peep me out, peep me out, peep me out. Like, look, 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 hold on. Hold on. Check me out, bro. We got we got the butters matching the hair. Super Saiyan real nigga. What? But anywho, man, in this video, bro, I am going to be ranking the three best builds in thy game. The three easiest builds to use. The three most versatile builds to use. The three builds that take very little skill to use compared to majority of the builds for you little july noobs and all this and that this is the video for you or just overall and the i don't think these three builds should belong in 2k so y'all let me know what you think let me know your top three let me know how you feel about my top three and all this and that But before we get into this video, make sure y'all subscribe if you new. 300k on the way, my boy. 300k on the way. Help a young nigga grow. Hit that sub button. And also, I don't know why these goddamn motorcycles are going crazy. Like, damn, nigga, I'm recording. As I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, bro, yesterday, I was like, hey, man, I don't think we can hit a thousand likes in 24 hours. And we did it. I ain't know I ain't know we could do that so let's go for it again if we get a thousand likes in 24 hours I will drop another stream for y'all dominate some niggas on 2k and go play that little ghost and ninja game and go <laughs> you feel me so make sure y'all like up the vid and um yeah it definitely helps out the video look at yesterday video compared to the rest it's crazy also I will have a link on how to make all these builds to a T the builds I have made that resemble this or just the best build overall and the best badges laid out there will be a link to each one so number three number three number three now look man a lot of this stuff uncommon knowledge i'm about to you know i don't think this build should be in the game um the offensive threat you know the true offensive threat the hall of fame finishing and hall of fame shooting right the what they call the bp build <laughs> I believe this is the number three ranked build in 2K, the easiest to use, you know, the, one of the most overpowered builds to use. And um, I'm gonna tell you why, bro. So not only can it speed boost, right? It gets Hall of Fame shooting. So it can shoot like a sharp. It can post fade like a post scorer. It can fade like a shot creator. Not only that, right? Not only can it speed boost, break ankles, dribble glitch, move fast you know even though it has gold playmaking that that doesn't matter in the in the terms of effectiveness it has hall of fame finishing hall of fame finishing is one of the most overpowered broken things in nba 2k20 very very broken okay 99 speed 99 acceleration you know you vert like a damn near 90 you have contact dunks all of them 87 driving dunk 92 driving layup 95 close shot this is the this i recommend this build for beginners for people who starting to iso who want to iso who want to get on the wave this is the ultimate beginner build bro like because what people don't understand is hall of fame shooting makes you look way better than you are way better like way better bro like it's a whole different world you see a lot of people go from hall of fame to gold or then to a lock build they're not shooting the same they don't look like they're that good you know and it's much more appealing to see someone ring 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 three 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 and with this build you could do that but also you could finish at a at a higher level than any other build yes the two-way slasher and playmaker that everyone complains about it's not more overpowered and versatile than this, bro. It has the highest finishing rate than any build, bro. 
and it can speed boost and it's pretty fast. And then if they if they do go low, it's an instant green. With the the reason the two way is not easier than this is because not everyone can shoot on that two way. Despite what y'all think, a lot of people can't. Not not even a lot of people. They can't shoot shoot. Like if you leave him open for seven threes, he not hitting them, right? And then you could stop him in the paint way more efficiently than a BP build with Hall of Fame finishing, bro. It's a different level of like, it takes way less skill to use. Like people aren't getting with the BP build, bro. You could play help D, switch, have the other guy guard him, all this other stuff. And then you have two categories that's more OP than the two way slash and playmaker right this is and, and this is overall for threes definitely a hundred percent this build is is way more efficient and effective than than, than a two-way slash and playmaker bro the only way the only place where you could say it's better than is like the twos or the ones right and that's just because of the hall of fame defense other than that bro like just overall threes pro-am Right, you know, you get like 11 defensive on the BP build and stuff, and you know, it's just like like y'all see Tysino play, y'all seen other people's play without a lot of defensive badges, bro. It's not that hard to just guard the three. He drives, you switch, or you OD bait. It's not that hard. You're going to get a few stops. If you can't finish him in a few stops with the most overpowered offensive stuff in the game, that's on you, my boy. That's on you, okay? very broken build i don't believe any guard build should have hall of fame finishing it kind of takes the um it takes just the thought like it it reminds me of the 610 point forward in 2k18 bro it takes the 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 thought bro like you don't have to think bro you could just do one move and just drive and just dunk the ball like just go up with everything like i don't know i don't, I don't think hall of fame finishing should even exist bro Especially for a guard build. I don't know. Y'all let me know. I, I, I personally don't think the combo of Hall of Fame finishing, then Hall of Fame shooting, and then being able to speed boost should should exist. It, it's too overpowered. Um, it's just too brain dead, bro. Like, and then if if you're a dribble god, right? You're you're ba you basically can move just as fast, bro. Like you just gotta know how to hit your stuff. But I I don't know. I I, I think it's too brain dead. Y'all let me know how y'all think. But yeah, the link to make this build will be in the description, my boy. <laughs> Y'all drop a like if you agree that this build is very brain dead. The inside out playmaker be offensive threat, all the same shit, right? <clears throat> and like, like I see a lot of people who never ISOed, right? A lot of, look, look, wait, wait, the thing about 2K20, a lot of people who never ISOed, who bashed ISO, who would never sit and watch someone ISO are now hopping on a guard because of this build right that's how overpowered it is people that make centers and stretches every year this build and now is running guard acting like they're the greatest you know this is a sharp stretches dream you know it's it's brain dead they like brain dead builds you know and then they claim they just comp and all this and that so i mean you 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 definitely you, you definitely have to think about it when, when it comes to, I, I guarantee you, if there was only like slash and playmakers and pure playmakers and builds like that, those stretches and all those, they would never, ever come to the PG position. But now that a build like this exists, they went on over. And then that's something to say. And that's why I think it should be regarded. You don't see a lot of stretches and sharps and centers that every year make the two ways like that. Let's say to stick on the twos. You don't really see that. You mostly see them on the BPs. Why is that? Think about it. Think about it. I, I'm, I'm just saying, man. Number two. <laughs> now, look, this is one of the most broken, dumbed down, stupid builds that should never exist in 2K. I don't know what's up with these developers, right? Um, Y'all let me know if y'all think it should exist. Um, Drop a like if you think a build like this shouldn't exist in 2K21. Now, we got the two-way finisher, right? This is a pure lockdown, 30 defensive badges. The link to how to make this is my seven way. <laughs> the link to how to make this will be in the description, my boy. Now look, 
it has 99 speed 99 acceleration right and basically it's faster than every point guard build every every scoring build it has a higher vertical right this is a defender right his driving is is just incredible driving dunk can get a lot of contact dunks right can finish on anyone all this you know all that hop step cheese stuff and then you know even though it can't speed boost but guess what guess what there's a version of this build that can speed boost right can speed boost and still be able to have 30 defensive badges right you don't think that's broken man you 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 think that should exist in 2k21 I personally don't think it should exist right so it gets contact dunks it gets finishing and all that and since it's big and max wingspan it could do post hooks even though the ratings low I did add a lot of uh, rating for my personal build but um post hooks like automatically going even if it's low it's very broken you could green with a 53-3 with, 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 with four shooting badges very very toxic you can make every midi all that stuff now here's the broken part bro now this is on pro-am every team has this right on 3v3 every comp team has this right it'll completely crumble the guard imagine if no dribble glitch bro bro what is up with these motorcycles imagine if no dribble glitch existed right and people had to go against this 75 interior d with a 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 30 defensive badges, 96 perimeter defense, 95 lateral quick quickness, 99 steal, 99 steal, 99. Imagine if the dribble glitch didn't exist. A lot of y'all don't even know about this build. Y'all park dudes not hip. I don't think a lot of park people can shoot on this. So if you did want to make a build like this, I would actually suggest to make the play lock. And um, yeah instead of this if you're not confident in your shot but um 99 block block is a very underrated rating that if you have block you're stopping any center you're stopping any any guard and like it's you get a lot of snatch blocks it's a very toxic build you know the offensive rebound it could be even higher i just personally made mine 78 and then 99 you can get 99 offensive and 99 defensive while being the best defender on the court with 99 speed while being able to contact dunk people while being able to green threes and then there's another version where you can still get contact dunks green threes and then speed boosts and then have all these defensive stats it's broken right i don't get it if you're gonna have a bill like this he can't be able to shoot a three right that that's how it has to be i don't even think bills like this should exist right for the inside center position it, it's it's too dumbed down it's too dumbed down y'all y'all drop a like if y'all think a build like this shouldn't exist and y'all let me know if you think this is the second most overpowered build right and i, I just mean just a pure lockdown basically you know there's a lot of tricky names y'all be getting fooled by all these youtubers posting these new names when they really just the same bill 2k just finesse when you do the slight thing it's a whole different name and then it's all again jutsu and money 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 <laughs> you feel me but yeah so the number one most overpowered broken build a hundred percent undebated like undebatably undebatably Undebatable. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get a screenshot. The number one build, okay? Most toxic, easiest, most versatile, broken build to use. A paint beast. A link to how to make this will be in the description, okay? A paint beast. <clears throat> so, not only can this build make everything in the paint, right? just like a guard or something right it has contact dunks every contact dunk every standing contact dunk post hook god because post hooks are just broken right um it can shoot if you make it right just like the pure lockdown you know this is a pure red pie chart the most overpowered pie chart right this build right it can set the biggest fattest body 
Hall of Fame brick wall, 30 defensive badges, 30, you, 40 years, 30 defensive badges. And people like make this at a legend, right? 40 defensive, imagine that. You know what I mean? Legend paint beast I beat. Like, you know how trash you have to be for me to beat you? You feel me? You're on the one, the most broken build in the game. These builds have a 90 plus speed, a 80 plus acceleration, a 80, almost 90 strength, high ass vertical, 99 stamina, 99 interior defense, 86 plus perimeter defense. And this is at the center position. You could make them a power four with even better ratings, right? You can out rebound every, every, th th this is why, let, let me keep going into the build before before I rant about this build, right? Lateral quickness, 80 plus, man. The steal, damn near 90, 89. The block, 99. Offensive rebound, 99. Defensive rebound, 99. Right? A build that's that fast and it just, it's, what? Contact dunks, all that speed. So, so a no skill build to where you could just go to the paint and just press square just has all this speed and all this defense. You guys know when they upgrade like the defensive stats like this, they're like saying like, you know, they don't want a skill gap. You feel me? Because all the skill positions, they don't they don't get stats like this. Right. But little dumb down build builds like this. I, I, don't, I don't think this should exist, man. So just imagine. Right. This is one of the most versatile builds. You could dominate people on the ones, dominate people on the twos, dominate people on the threes, dominate people on the fours, dominate people on the fives. It's on every team that, that is sensible, right? It's the ultimate noob build. The other builds are the ultimate noob builds too. If you're a noob, go ahead and make them, man. You will be very successful, my boy, I promise you. But um, don't pull up on me with them. <laughs> Even though that's all I play. But look, so... This build not only can set the biggest bodies, it can roll super fast. So, you know, you stumble, screens are broken, you're rolling super fast. It's hard to stop. And then you can guard on ball, right? You can, a center can guard on ball. You're basically better than a lockdown, right? Because you're bigger. You take up more space with every animation. You low key moving faster than a, than a lockdown. And now you're actually bigger by like two, three inches than the normal lockdown. I think I think it's harder to ISO this build than it is to ISO a, a pure lockdown, bro. So not only you get to set the cheesiest screens and all that stuff, always alley-oop dunk, always contact alley-oop dunk, get every dunk, every post hook, but you get unlimited stops on defense, bro. This is what I'm talking about. If you pair a BP with this, on the twos or the threes court, bro, like you could have him guard ball. This build, if if this build don't get you four, three stops every twos game, your ass. You feel me? That that's why I say the two way. It's kind of like you don't really need it. You could go with the super offensive power, and then have him really help you out. But if y'all don't play with good people like that, then you know you don't really understand. But th this. It shouldn't exist. Y'all drop a like if y'all think it shouldn't exist in 2K21. I don't I don't think builds like this should exist. People are saying this role player stuff, but all builds can do everything since archetypes came out. That's just y'all just got caught up in it. Like builds can still do everything. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. Y'all subscribe if you new. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Y'all let me know if y'all feel this these builds should be in 2K21. How you feel builds should be in 2K21. Make sure y'all get this video to a thousand likes in 24 hours, and I'll drop a stream tonight for y'all boys. Make sure y'all turn on post notifications, subscribe, make sure y'all sub to my new channel, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, follow all my other social media in the description. Yeah, man, I'm out this hole. Y'all go to the gym seven days a week, drink a gallon of water a day, and yeah, 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 yeah.